Hey, good morning. Welcome to Fit Essentials Basics. My name is Shauna. I'm going to read our disclaimer. And then if you're comfortable to be on your feet, we're going to start there. You're about to engage in intense physical activity. Proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, or recent chest pain, or have any other condition that may limit their ability to participate in this activity should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. So here we go. All righty, so if you wanna have anything by you for balance, feel free. Make sure you're standing somewhere that you're not gonna hit your arms, feet about hip width apart. Start by pulling those shoulders back, just kind of bounce a little bit into your feet. And then from there, we're gonna bring the hands in front of the chest. Take a nice deep breath in, reach up to overhead or out in front of your body, and then circle your arms open, squeeze those shoulders back. Beautiful, we're gonna go twice more. Take a nice deep breath in as you outstretch your arms and then let all the air exhale out of your lungs as you lower the arms down. Good job. One more time through, feel free to close your eyes, pull the chin in, lifting up out of your spine and relax down. Very good. We're gonna shift our weight onto one leg. This is a great time if you want to balance, you can hold on to something, lift up through your midline. We're gonna pick one leg up off the ground. You can also sit down for this and we're gonna twirl that ankle around. So practicing balance or take a seat. We'll go about five times one way. And then when you're ready, switch directions about five times the other. Do you tend to have any stiffness in your ankles? Doing the ABCs, kind of outlining the alphabet with your foot is also a good movement to do. Switch sides, pull everything up, squeeze those shoulders back, lift that other foot up and twirl it around here. Fantastic, switch directions when you're ready. Very good, from here, place both feet on the ground. If you're seated, come on up to standing. Walk your feet in just a little bit so that they're straight underneath the hips, toes straight ahead, chin to the chest. And now we're just gonna gently slide the hands down the thighs, allowing your back to round just a little bit. Keep a little bend in those knees, strong in your midline. And then when you get to your bottom position, breathe in, exhale. And then when you're ready, tuck your hips under, make your way up to the top. Standing tall. Once we're standing tall, we're gonna shrug those shoulders up and into our ears and just gently round them back and down. So you can kind of use the arms, round up and down. Try to feel your shoulder blades kind of move up and down that rib cage. Open. Very good. Next, I'm gonna have you mirror me. So you're gonna go your left foot, step it forward, your right foot, step it back. And if you can, just drop that heel down. Take your right arm across the body to the left. Pull the elbow down and into your chest as you shift that back hip forward. Squeeze the glute of that right leg. And now turn your body like you're trying to look over the shoulder on your left side. Back to center. Fire that glute, shift the hip forward, and then just gently rotate, pulling that arm down and in. Pause in the rotation, and then we're gonna do that once more. Come back out of it, shift that hip, pull the arm down and in, and then rotate. Very good, shake the arms out. Make sure you're not gonna hit your arms on anything. And we're just gonna do a gentle side step and opening through the chest. Fantastic. There you go. And then when you're ready, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So now we're gonna go right foot forward, left foot steps back, bring your right, your left hand, excuse me, to the opposite arm, pull that elbow down and in, shift the hip, squeeze the glute and gently rotate. Backing out of it, shift the hip into it and then gently turn. Once more, shift back. Shift in and then take your time in that rotation, pulling that elbow in, just get a little bit of an open in the outer shoulder. And then when you're ready, relax. And then we'll take it back once more to the sidestep, arm swing. 
alternate which arm comes on top of the body. So left arm comes across and then right arm comes on top. Nice. All right, from here, we're gonna start to stretch out the back of the lower leg, so the back of your calf. Anywhere that you can put the heel down and prop your toe up against something with your legs mostly straight, you're gonna kind of just lean into it, get a stretch in that lower part, nice and gentle. There you go, about 10 more seconds here. You can bend the knee just ever so slightly and that's gonna, and then straighten it back out. That will change kind of where you feel that stretch in the calf. And then same thing, other foot, heel down, toe up, shifting your weight into it. Gently bend the knee in and extend. Very good, and relax there. Bring yourself back to center, pull yourself tall, squeeze those shoulder blades back, and we're gonna start with a march. You're gonna raise one arm up, raise the opposite knee, and then we'll switch side to side. So we wanna keep the hips nice and level. We're focused on a pause march this time. Practicing our balance, practicing our stability, side to side. As you lift the knee, lift the foot and the toes as well. There you go. Smooth, Whoop. take your time as you switch sides, get yourself grounded, grip the foot down. Be one more each side. And back, very good. Walk the feet in, toes straight ahead. Bend into your knees a little bit, bend into the hips, <clears throat> arms over the shoulders, and then long the spine this time. Send your hips back, bow forward, squeeze your backside as you stand tall. Very good. Long spine, hips back, bowing forward, only as far until you're like, oh, there's my hamstrings. Or if you tend to be rather flexible here, don't go beyond about 90 degrees. Straight up. Anywhere between three and five, bow forward and stand one more time, hinging over and straight up. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna go back to our march. This time we're gonna punch our arm across the body. So march and punch. We'll take out that pause this time. Breathe. Shoulders back as you pull that arm in, chest nice and tall. Good. Fantastic. There you go. Let's go about one more each side. Very good. From there, step the feet to be just a little outside the hips, hand on the hips, and we're going to go into our hip circles, circling them around. We'll go three to five each direction. There you go, just gently waking up. As you bring the hips forward, squeeze the glutes again, make sure you're not arching the back and switch directions when you're ready. Circling it around. Wonderful. All right, and we're gonna go last time through that march and punch. So standing tall, shoulders back, and whenever you're ready, opposite hand with the opposite knee, punching across. Standing tall as you pull those arms back and in. So it's like I'm trying to touch my elbows behind me. I squeeze them back, bring my hands up by my shoulders, and then I reach across the other way. Nice. Beautiful, about 10 more seconds. Maybe one more each side. And rest. Beautiful. We're gonna go side stretch next. Feel free to mirror me. Hand on the hip, ground your feet down, and we're gonna reach up and across. Try to kind of gaze with your eyes as you reach. Breathe, and then we're gonna come down and switch sides. Hand on the hip. You can gently let that hip kind of slide across as you reach across. Peering up, breathing, and then we'll switch side to side. Very good. We're gonna get two to three each direction. So depending upon your shoulder mobility, you can kind of reach out in front of your body and then across. And as you start to warm up more, if you have the ability to kind of reach your arms straight up, 
little bit more straight overhead. That's wonderful too. Nice, Laura. Stretch, peer up, and relax down. Fantastic. Lost my band. Now here it is, right in front, right in my chair. So behind the back stretch next, as needed, you can use a band. If you can interlace the hands behind you, that's great too. Interlace those fingers or hold on to your band. A towel works as well, a scarf, anything that you can hold on, lifting those arms up to encourage that chest to open. If you want to add a forward fold to it, walk your feet wide, get a little bit of a bend into those knees, heels root down into the floor. And then long spine, send those hips back. You're like, I don't quite feel ready to bow forward. Just stay tall, pull those arms up. And then whenever you're ready, come on back up and shake it out. All right. Very good. From here, if you can't grab your foot, you can repeat that stretch that we did when we're opening the hip. If you can grab your foot, we're going into our quad stretch. There you go, good. Pulling the heel towards the glute. Stretching out of the front of the thigh. Good job. About 10 more seconds here. Just gradually incre in increasing the range of motion on the leg. Don't want it to be painful and relax. Same thing, other side. So again, you can do the stagger stance, reaching across to open up the front of the hip, or best you can grab that foot Never been personal with people, they'll say things like, you make that look easy. My, I try to be sincere, it really is my job, try to make it look easy, right? I've been doing fitness for a long time. So just meet your body wherever you are. Don't judge yourself. And relax that foot down or walk out of that side step. From here, we're gonna go wider base stance. Feel free to hold on to a countertop or the chair for balance. With the weight in the heels, we're gonna shift your weight to one side. We're looking to open up that inner thigh. Heel down, knee pushes out. And I come back to center and I do the same thing on the other side. So if I don't use the chair, I can reach the arm straight out. Heel down, chest tall. Back to center, we're gonna go two to three times each side. And sometimes this will kind of irritate people's knees. So you gotta make adjustments for you based upon what you're feeling. Beautiful. Last time each side. Good job. Heel plants down, knee pushes wide. We don't want it to dive in here. And walk those hand feet in. Beautiful. We're gonna warm up our squats. So I like to use something to hold on to best we can for this. You're gonna walk your feet out so they're about hip width apart or if you're stiff into a squatting position, you can go a little bit wider than the hips as well. Holding on or reaching your arms straight out. Heels plant down, send your hips back, come down as far as you're able or confidence. And then feel free to use that upper body to pull yourself back and up. Good job. Two more as able, sinking back. Heels are planted, knees push wide. Beautiful, and then pull yourself up. And this is really great to do just few times throughout the week or so if you feel stiff you know you want to encourage your body get back into that full range of motion it may not be ideal for you to do over and over for reps in a workout but just a couple times to open up the lower body oops lost my light all right folks so we're going to go into either squatting without the chair sitting back and stand or you can do your squats sitting back to the chair standing straight up. We call it a sit and stand. So we're avoiding that plop. We're gonna squat for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna rotate. If you have a band to use, we're gonna do an upper body row. You can sit down after the squats. And we're gonna go one elbow in, reaching forward, the other elbow in. If you don't have a band to use, you want to do more of a bent over position, then I would recommend about 30 seconds on each arm, supporting your hand on the chair or a countertop. You'll go one arm at a time, 30 seconds. I'll be telling you when we're at halfway, and then you can switch arms. Those of you that have the bands, you can do all training arms. Okay. So we're going to start with those squats. Like I said, 30 seconds of the squat. 
And then we're gonna do a full minute of that row. Alrighty, I'm gonna start here, about 10 seconds. I'm gonna demo the first round to the chair. I'm gonna hold some weight. You should only hold weight if you've been doing this for a while and you feel ready for that. Walk your feet about hip width apart. Standing tall, three, two, one. Here we go, sinking back, drive into your heels. Good job, control down. Whether you're squatting or doing the sit stand, back and up, squeeze the glutes. That's halfway. And as you focus on the weight into the heels, still grip those toes as well. Keep the foot activated. When those toes grip down, it lifts your arch. Maybe one more, two, one, and transition. Very good. If you were using weights for that, set it down. So remember, you can do this version here, 30 seconds per arm. Or if you do have bands, go ahead and join me seated in the chair. You can put your band around one foot or two, sitting tall. You want to have about equal length on each side and shoulders back, really exaggerate that posture. We're going to go alternating arms. So pull one arm in, reach it forward, and then the other. We've got a full minute here, so taking your time. Those of you using the bands, I like to focus on the position of the hand as well. So as I'm forward, my palms down towards my thighs as I row in. Turn that palm so it faces straight up. Shoulders are down, squeezing that elbow in. Reach and row, reach and row. We call this an alternating banded row. That's 30 seconds. We're encouraging a strong position of the shoulder blades. We want it back and down. Avoid that forward hunch. Good work, that's 45 seconds, 15 more to go. Good quality movement. You can pause with the elbow in, reach it forward, squeeze it in. Work in that bicep a little bit as well. Maybe one more each side. In, reach, back, and relax. Great job. We're gonna take right about just under 30 seconds. Time to grab some water. That's our first round. We're gonna be doing that twice more. So you're welcome to stick with the squatting to the chair or sit and stand. I'm gonna demo unassisted to the chair. 10 seconds till we start. <laughs> Happy tail wag there. All right, so walk the feet outside the hips, tall chest. If you're holding weight, hold it up underneath the chin. And two, one, here we go. Knees push wide, heels stay planted. Controlling down. Standing smooth, knees out, chest up. Fantastic. Good focus. That's 20 seconds. We're gonna work for about 10 more. And don't beat up on yourself. If you wanna cut it early, you only wanna go as far as you can hold good consistent movement patterns and rest. Wonderful. Back to either your bent over row or grab the band again. I'm gonna be demoing the band for all three sets here. We have some single arm rows on Thursday of this week. Band around one or two feet. Try to lengthen it out so it's fairly even on each side. And here we go. Squeeze, oops, sorry, one arm at a time. And if you've got a single arm going there, good, nice, Laura. Breathe. If you are in that bent over position, if you need a break from that position, come up anytime. That's our first 15 seconds. Well done. Pulling it back it in. There's our first 30 seconds. We've got a full minute on this one. We wanna keep that mid back strong. It helps our posture to stay upright. 45 seconds. Continue to breathe. Maybe one more each arm and two, one, and rotate. 30 seconds till we're back to our final round of the squats. Nice job. 
Feel free to grab some water. Well done, 15 seconds till we start. All right, if you wanna hold weights of, uh, in two arms, I would just hold it up at the shoulders, try to keep those elbows up. Walk the feet out about hip width apart and two, one, here we go. Controlling back, heels push into the floor as you grip the toes as well. Fantastic. Sinking down, driving tall. There you go. 10 seconds left. Control of the movement. Maybe one more. And two, one, and rotate. Great job. Final times on the upper body. Bend over row or with the bands around one feet or two, we'll start in 10 seconds. Even out each side. And we're gonna go alternating arms. So palms down as you reach away. Two, one, here we go. Pull it in, palm rotates up. As you squeeze that elbow back. Nice, smooth breathing. Doesn't have to be super hard here. Squeezing that shoulder in. Pause just about one second in the back. And then reaching it in. Very good, that's halfway, 30 seconds in. If anyone's doing one arm at a time, please switch sides. Last time through. Fifteen seconds. Good job. Maybe once more each side. In and pause, reach it forward, in and hold, and relax. Great work. Set that band down. We're just going to stay here for a second. If you're not seated, go ahead and take a seat. All right, we're going to do what's called our eagle arms. So we're going to reach the arms out wide. You're going to mirror me. So take your right hand, sweep it underneath your left, and then best you can, interlace those hands. Push one hand down into the other as you push up and down against the elbows as well. So on your left side, you kind of feel it's a little bit in that outer shoulder, gently opening it up. Stretches the shoulder in a way that we don't often throughout the day. And then when you're ready, release those hands. Same thing, other side. So now your left arm comes under, right arm comes over. Again, interlace the hands. Push one side down, one side up. Sit tall, up out of your chair. And great time, pull the chin in, close those eyes for a moment. Let's take two more breaths here. And when you're ready, go ahead and release those arms, roll it back. Next, I just wanna roll those wrists around Outstretch hands. You'll oftentimes feel some little cracks and pops through there. Good job. Switch directions when you're ready. Rolling them through there. All right, fantastic. Go ahead and come up to standing. We're gonna be opening our chest. We're getting ready for some overhead work. If your shoulders are like a no-go on that, you can do some horizontal pressing. I like to bring the band behind the back for that and you're going to be pushing like straight out or if you can push a little bit up that's great also oops just keep it back behind you and hold that secure but in the meantime we want to get a stretch for that upper body a little bit more so if you have a doorway nearby or the wall go ahead and make your way there let's start on your right side bring the arm up to 90 degrees right about shoulder height place the hand against the wall Step your right leg forward, left foot back, and then you're just gonna gently lean into it. You wanna feel an opening right in the front of the chest on your right side. And then when you're ready, just gently rotate away. Continue to stretch that chest. Breathe here. Good 
And if you feel stable here on your feet, take your left arm and circle it around. It might be small circles. You might feel good for nice big sweeping circles. Just moving through, reaching up, rotating back, palm faces away. And then as I reach in front of my body, palm faces in. Okay, one more. Very good. Go ahead and relax that down. Same thing, other side. So your left arm, 90 degrees. Place it against the wall or doorway. Your left foot steps forward, right foot back. Lean in, open up the chest on that left side. And just hold it here first. Breathe. And if it felt good, just circle that arm around. Now your right arm reaches forward, stretching up, rotate away. Good job. You know, between like two to three. Wonderful. All righty. Instead of working for time on this next circuit, we're going to go for reps. The recommendation is anywhere between six to 12 reps. Okay, we're going to go seated or standing. I'm going to go ahead and demo seated. All right, if you're doing the chest press, I recommend that seated. And like I said, I'm going to demo that overhead press. If you know that you're stronger in one side versus the other, or if like reaching up is easier on one side, start with the side that's more most challenging for you, okay? And if you don't have weights or don't feel ready for weights, just pretend that you do. So whenever you're ready, you'll find the side you wanna start on, holding that weight up at the shoulder or bands across the back for that forward press. And then whenever you're ready, we'll push straight up, elevate that shoulder towards the ear, elbow comes forward as you lower it down. Push up and control down. Very good. Breathe. I like to breathe out as I push up. Breathe in as I lower. Good. I'm trying to bring that weight straight over the top of my head best I can. And this is the only time we're going to focus on shrugging that shoulder up towards the ear. That's about eight on my end. You get to where you're like, okay, that's getting tough. Feel free to shake it out early. Or I'm gonna take you through about three more. There you go, good. You gotta learn your body. Very good. And we're gonna go ahead and just switch sides. I'm gonna bring that arm up to the other side and whenever you're ready, elevate through that shoulder, elbow comes forward. Ideally try to do about the same number of reps. <laughs> convenient when we're doing one arm at a time then you have a free hand and pet the dog if your dog's nearby <laughs> animals are one of my favorite parts of these live videos it's about seven on my end i'm going to take you through about five more but again listen to your body if you're like all right i'm working pretty hard for that just call it there i'd prefer you not go to like a breaking point so i don't want you to fail on any reps it's okay to get like moderately tough and then go ahead and rest from there. Fantastic. All right, go ahead and set it down. From here, we're gonna go one hand behind the head. Bring that elbow down towards your opposite thigh. Sit tall up out of your chair, and then you're gonna rotate your body here over the opposite shoulder. Anywhere between three and six. Taking your time, pause in that rotated position. Down and close, sit tall and rotate. A couple more. Breathe in to close and then exhale as you rotate. Last one on my end. Fantastic. Same thing, other side. Hand behind the head, elbow to the opposite thigh, sit tall and rotate. to help keep that good movement through our mid back and our rib cage. We tend to get pretty stiff through there and that's gonna impact how we can reach overhead. We need to get a little bit of some rotation so that we can extend in our mid back and not compensate by arching through the low back. Last one. Very good. All right, before we go back to the overhead press, we're gonna do some core work. So we're gonna stand up 
You can either, I'm gonna show it on the chair here where I'm gonna be supporting on one hand. You can either just hold the whole time or you can dip the hip down and lift. You can also do this against the wall where I would just have my hand outstretched, splay the fingers, and I would push against the wall, walk my feet out only as far as you're confident. And again, you can either just hold there the whole time or just gently rock the hips in a little bit, only far enough that you can keep that arm outstretched. And same idea, we're gonna go between six and 12, or you can hold while I work here. So pushing, it's not like you wouldn't be working, but you might not feel ready for that hip dip. So up to you. Remember, it's not for time, for reps, dipping in. And the key is that as you drop those hips in, that you're pushing through that shoulder the whole time, not allowing that shoulder to collapse in. So just very gently lowering the hips, lift and push. Good. So right about seven, we go upwards to five more. If you're starting to shake, step out of it. And really imperative here, obviously, that whatever you're leaning against is stable. You don't want it to slide out from under you. Couple more. Very good. Same thing, other side. So that I don't have my back to you, I'm gonna just take it to my chair. Make sure that's stable here. The lower it is, the harder it's gonna be. So if you don't have a high enough surface, like I said, use your wall. And then same idea here, just gently lowering the hip down. It's not very far, just a little dip. And then lift. Nice, dip and lift. Good time to smile. Especially if you feel a little awkward or a little bit silly, that's a perfect time to smile. It's starting to get too challenging, step out of it. It's normal to kind of feel that bottom hip starting to fire and burn a little bit. Down and up, one to two more. Down, pushing through that shoulder and up last time. Down and lift, fantastic. Walk it in, shake out the arms. We're gonna go one more time through that, starting back with that overhead press or your chest press. If you haven't had anything to drink in a while, feel free to Grab a sip of water as you're making your way back into position. <sighs> Wonderful. All right, and then we'll go through those three exercises once again. Stand, sitting tall, standing tall, and whenever you're ready, between six and 12, elbow forward, push straight up, good. Nice, bring that weight straight over the center of your head. Those of you that are doing that overhead press, forward and driving tall. That's about six on my end. All right, about nine. Let me go two to three more. If you need to rest before me, that's great, just do it. Your weights might be different. Good job. And then when you're ready, we're gonna switch arms. Same thing, other side. Standing tall, sitting tall. You can also use your non-working arm, just kind of support it on your abdomen. This can help you to kind of have awareness for what's happening with your spine. We don't wanna arch back. We wanna sit tall, stay strong. Good job. Straight overhead, elevate. How close can I get to the ceiling? Wonderful. I'm gonna go two to three more. Last one for me. Good job. Whenever you finish that out, go ahead and set your weight on the floor. And we're doing our seated rotations next. So you can go hand behind the head. Let's go to your first arm, elbow to the opposite thigh, sit tall, rotate through. Upwards of six, breathe in and exhale as you rotate. Great time to relax the eyes closed. Breathe in, 
Sit and rotate. Maybe once more. And when you're ready, same thing, other arm. Hand behind the head, sit tall, and going into our rotations. This is a really simple one to do too. If you find yourself that you're stiff in your mid back or feel stiff in your body, or you know you tend to get stiff, try to write yourself a little post-it note as some reminders, so seated rotations. You make notes on how, you, how it works. Hand behind the head, elbow to the opposite thigh. And you know, you, you can do these on your own. These are oftentimes used as some like rehab if you get stiff that mid back. So we like to encourage it before it becomes a problem. Good job, shake that out. And then we're gonna make our way up to our feet. Last time through on those, we call them a side plank dip. And obviously we have, a, we call this like an elevated side plank dip. So to get into it, I also like to push both hands down underneath the shoulder. I didn't really explain that the first time, I apologize. And then pivot yourself around, lifting up out of that bottom shoulder. Remember, you can also be against the wall where you would just kind of lean into it. Rock down, rock up, not dropping into the shoulder. If you feel like that shoulder's not ready for that hip drop, again, just hold the position without the tips. So we're working the side of the glutes. We're lurking through those obliques up into your torso. And obviously that shoulder as well, pushing through the arm. Good job, couple more. Down and lift. Maybe one more, down and up. I lost track of my count on that time, folks. All right, making our way around, opposite arm. And again, remember, we can go right against the wall. I go outstretched arm and then I would lean into the wall. Stack the feet long, gently lower, lift and push. There you go, down and lift or just hold throughout. It's very subtle with that dip. There you go, a few more. And last one, fantastic. Walk it in, walk it around, back to our water. We just have one more circuit left. I'm gonna take you through four rounds. We're gonna be doing three different exercises and then we'll have a rest break. If you're like, wanna keep it active on your rest, you can do some side steps, some seal jacks and so on. And we're gonna go nice and slow through this first round. So if you wanna kind of follow me, if you have any weights to use, we're gonna be starting with a deadlift. So you're gonna walk your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna set the weight down so it's right between the ankles. And if you don't have a weight to use, just mimic as if you do. Stand tall up out of your spine, sending those hips back, chin in. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna push into the heels, squeeze the glutes, standing tall. Good job, send those hips back, push the knees out, bringing it back down. And if you're someone that it's like really tough to touch the, uh, to get towards your toes, when we do that toe touch, then don't go all the way to the floor. Just bring the weight to about the height of your knees and stand from there. We're practicing this, it's called a hinging pattern where you're hinging your hips back, over and up. Good, one more, control down and stand. Good job, go ahead and walk it in. If you have a weight, please set it down. Next, we're gonna go to our elevated mountain climbers. So we're gonna place the hands. You could go back to the side of the couch, whatever you use for your planks or coming into like the seat of a chair. Again, the lower your hands are to the floor, the harder it's gonna be. So the back of the couch is a good place as well or a countertop. Midline strong. You can either hold here or if you'd like to climb the mountain with me, we're gonna pull the knee up towards the same side elbow, supporting through the shoulders, knee up, control down and we're utilizing your lower abdomen to keep your pelvis or your hip area neutral. We don't wanna have a lot of bounce side to side. So nice and strong, midline tight, knee up and down, alternating sides. Very nice, breathe. Let's get one to two more each side. 
up and in and down, up and in. When you're ready, walk the feet in, come on back to standing. Now, if that overhead work that we did earlier is tough for you, I want you to do an opening through the chest. If you feel pretty secure going overhead, you can use weights or not. We're gonna go both arms together this time. Okay, so either opening through the shoulders or overhead. So if you're good with this overhead, we're gonna go both arms together. You can do like just a little bit of a dip or if you can push them out without any dip of the legs, push straight up. So go ahead and continue there. Those of you that I said don't wanna go overhead, you can use your band if you have it, or again, just pretend that you do. Straight arms, reach in and open. Good, we're gonna go 10 more seconds here. Open and close. Open and close. Good job. Those of you going overhead, maybe one or two more. And relax. Beautiful. So that's all three of the movements. And then we have about a 30 second rest. So you can either take that full rest or if you want to keep yourself moving, some side steps are great or even some marching. Beautiful. Or a good time for water. So that's set one. We're going to take about 20 seconds and then we're going to go back to it, starting back with those deadlifts. And that's round one, so we'll do it three more times through. And I'm gonna show the deadlift with two weights this time. So you can walk the feet outside the hips, tall chest, and then whenever you're ready. Remember, long spine, bowing forward, hips go back, squeeze the glutes, standing. So I have the, both hands holding a weight, lowering it down, standing straight up and allow your flexibility to determine how low you go. We only wanna go far enough down that we can keep that back flat. Good job, couple more. Control, squeeze the bum, squeeze those shoulders back, maybe one more. Control down and stand tall. Fantastic. If you have the weights, set them down. Back to our mountain to climb. Place those hands right underneath your shoulder, walking your feet back, and then whenever you're ready, knee to the same side elbow. Once you know what you're doing, turn your gaze down so that you're looking right between your hands. Up and in, down and controlled. We're really focused here. We don't want those hips to drop down. We don't want that arch to happen in the low back. So I'd rather see your hips a little bit high in like a piked position than too far down. Maybe about one more on each side. Straight up down and walk it out. Good job. So either your chest openers on your pull apart or grab your weights or use your imaginary weights. We're going back to overhead or those chest openers. Two, one, and here we go. Straight up. Good job. So either that guy or the chest openers are this guy here. Yep, there you go, Laura. <laughs> Sorry. Close it down and open. Nice. And as you're opening, don't let those shoulders shrug into the ears. So shoulders back and down, squeeze, open, close, open, close. One more. Hold and relax. Beautiful. That's two rounds down. Side steps. Anything you wanna do, we'll start set three here in about 15 seconds. We back to those deadlifts. All right, 10 seconds till we start. This time I'm gonna utilize my dumbbell. And I'm gonna hold it vertically. I'm just gonna hold one dumbbell. It's gonna sit straight up and down, tall spine, hinging over, chin in, and nice and smooth. Squeeze the butt, over and up. Hinging over and stand. Fantastic. So this is basically how we want to pick up a laundry basket. You want to stand tall, can hinge over. Okay, if you had to pick up like a bag of dog food or something. One to two more. Down and stand. Wonderful. Mountain climbers. It's a set three of four. You can do all rounds or just do what feels best for your body. Place those hands, walk the feet back, 
And whenever you're ready, knee towards the same side elbow. Remember not to let those hips drop in. So strong lower belly, strong lower core. Good job, breathe. When that knee comes up, if you can't quite touch the elbow, just bring it as close as you can. And it's normal here, this kind of compresses that diaphragm down as you pull that knee up. So it challenges your breathing a little bit more. Let's go one to two each side. And walk it in when you're ready. Very good, either back to overhead or I'm gonna show the pull aparts. Long arms reaching straight out and then open the shoulders. Close and open, close it in. Yep. And we don't want these to be super hard. I have a lot of lacks here in this band. I'd rather have some consistency. Starting to feel some burn in my shoulders. One more time and shake it out. Good job, 30 seconds. If you've had enough for the day, say, hey, good job. Otherwise, we're gonna go one more cycle through. We'll have two minutes. And then we'll finish with some cool down stretches. All right, folks, 15 seconds. We'll be back to those hinges, the deadlifts. And this here's a kettlebell here. You can find them out like Dollar General, Walmart has them. Okay, we'll set it down. Wide base stance, tall chest, two, one. Here we go, hinging over. I also have people use things like they'll, you can like recycle, take like your laundry detergent containers. You can take like a plastic water jug or um, if you drink milk, you can take a milk container when it's empty and fill it with some water. Or you can make different sizes by like filling it with some sand or dirt. Okay, you can get creative with what you have at home. Add something to lift. Maybe one more here and two, one and transition. Final time on our mountain climbers. Place the hands under the shoulders walk the feet back and whenever you're ready knee towards that same side elbow nice job looking straight between the hands and breathe nice work keeping those hips lifted don't let them drop down good job 10 more seconds if you need to stop early that's totally fine that one more each side and two, one, walk it in. Good job. Overhead if you choose or pull apart to finish. Reaching forward, opening through the chest. Reach, squeeze. So we're avoiding the shrug on this one. Shoulders down as you open the chest. And especially if you're standing, we don't wanna sway back. So ribs down, shoulders stacked right over the hips. Couple more. Reach and open, reach and open. Fantastic. Go ahead and set that down. Let's shake it out. Okay, let's do some sidestep and some arm swings. Use it as a little bit of a cool down here. Fantastic. All right, and then when you're ready, let's grab some water and we're gonna finish taking a chair. We'll do a couple stretches for the upper body. we kind of loosen up those necks and, neck and shoulders and a little bit of some twisting for the lower body as well. All right, good job. All right, so we're gonna start sitting tall, drop your chin down to your chest just as close as you can get it without forcing. And just start there looking down. And then when you're ready, sit tall, gently looking up. We're gonna do that twice more. If you wanna add a little overpressure as you look down, fingertips on the head, just ever so gently. And we don't hold this for a long time, just about five seconds or so. And then as we look up, we can cross the hands right below your collarbones, downward pull of the skin to then push up, to just give a little bit of some stretch on the tissue there. Good job, sit tall, chin towards the chest. Again, looking down, last time through. 
little bit of pressure on the forehead or in the forehead, the back of the head. Mm -hmm. And then last time, cross the hands, pull down, looking straight up. Very good. We're going to come back to the neck for some different movements, but first we're going to give a little attention to the lower body. So you can, you have a choice here. You can keep your feet flat, or if you'd like, you can cross the leg up and over. It'll bring you a little bit deeper into that twist. From here, I've got my hand on the opposite thigh, sitting tall. I'm going to pull my body around. If you have a handle here on your chair, you can always push into that. And we're just going to gaze over that shoulder. Breathe. Not forcing, just encouraging. One more breath here. Relax down, same thing other side. So again, either feet flat or reach the hand of the thigh or cross that leg up and over, sit tall and rotating through. Again, if you have the arm rest, you can kind of push that hand into the arm. Turn your head as well, gaze over the shoulder. Breathe and relax. Good job. Both feet flat on the ground. We're going to go back to the upper body. Now we're going to rotate just the head. Turn the head to peer over one shoulder. Take two of your fingers and bring them up on your cheekbone. So not the jaw, but the cheekbone. And just encourage a little bit of rotation, holding for three to five seconds. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Turn the head. Fingers up on the cheekbone, encourage a little bit of overpressure there. Rotating. And relax. Twice more each side. Turn. And again, you know, as we discuss, we don't always, you know, it's great to do these things a couple times a week, but ideal to give your body some movement every day, switch directions when you're ready. So especially if you know you're someone that tends to get stiff in the neck, Doing some of these movements, looking up and down, back to your first side, once more each direction, looking up and down, turning your head side to side. You know, when you brush your teeth or before or after you brush your teeth in the morning and nighttime, that's a great time to coordinate and pattern in some stretching there. You can kind of use your mirror as a guide to see your body move that. And then once you finish those rotations, we're gonna go back to the lower body this time we're going to keep both feet flat. We're going to go back to that similar thing, but now we're going to add some shoulder work too. So hand to the same side shoulder, still turning yourself around. And now we're going to rotate that elbow up and around, circling it back. Like I'm trying to trace a nice big juicy grapefruit. It's the time of year. I grew up in Ohio and we used to have sales for the band. We sold oranges and grapefruits that would get delivered from Florida. My grandma would always mm -hmm. buy big crates of them and give them away to the family for Christmas. Oh, those juicy mm -hmm. grapefruits were delicious. Relax, switch sides, sit tall, hand to the opposite thigh, circle around. And here we go. So if you live somewhere that you can get yourself some good fresh citrus, great time of year to do it. Wonderful. And then final stretch here for the upper body, we're going to go lateral flexion for the neck. So sitting tall, chin in, you can, you don't have to use the overpressure. You can just drop the shoulder, excuse me, drop your ear towards one shoulder, side to side. And for the overpressure on this one, instead of just kind of like dropping it down, instead I like to give a little bit different focus. I'm going to come closer. So you're going to sit tall, Pull the chin in like you're trying to make like a triple chin. And then if I'm going to stretch towards the up left side, I'm going to use my left hand, bring the hand to like the right side of your back of your head. And again, we're just really gentle. And then sitting tall, I'm going to encourage that chin towards the opposite shoulder or collarbone rather, it's throughout your collarbone here. So pulling it down and in. And you want to kind of target that stretch so that it kind of comes along the back of the neck on that opposite side. And it should not be at all intense. So just be really gentle. I know I say that a lot, but it's a good reminder. And then when you're ready, relax. Same thing, other side. Looks good. Sit tall, pull the chin in, hand opposite side, and then just encouraging that chin towards the opposite shoulder. 
You can kind of traction the arm down and breathe. And relax when you're ready. Good job. Last one. Those of you still in the chair, that's perfect. Place the feet about hip width apart, hand on the thighs, and then just sliding it down. Gently drop the head down, stretching your back. Breathe here. And when you're ready, use your hands, work yourself back up. And go ahead, if you haven't already, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for showing up. Appreciate you being here. And I hope to see you all next time. Normal schedule this week. Those of you here live will uh, have some fun on Christmas Eve. All right, stay healthy, stay hydrated.